cozy little yellow van is back and that only means one thing yes indeed we are back in Lanzarote unfortunately our time in Fuerteventura was way too short way too short way too short but we had an awesome time and it's a reason to go back I think definitely <laughs> the thing is our van is back and we're not gonna stay in our van for the we're upcoming not gonna, we're not gonna two. sleep in it we're not gonna sleep in it we're only gonna drive it yeah We are going to Charco del Palo. It's probably the most famous naturist resort in all of the Canary Islands. And the thing is, it's not a campsite, it's a real resort with rental apartments. So we figured if we want to experience it to, at the best, we will have to rent an apartment. So that's where we're gonna sleep for the next two days, I guess. You're already, you're already telling the whole, <laughs> the whole video. But, I thought it was a surprise. But the cool thing <laughs> is that we're gonna have a real shower. Ah, and, yeah. I, and I can tell you, the dirt that will come from our bodies, it's gonna be epic. <laughs> Wait, let me, let me smell, let me smell. <laughs> but it's fine, it's fine, because no. we did shower. We did shower in our van, <laughs> but it's just gonna be very great to have a shower yeah. and not have to hold a hose over our heads. <laughs> This is where we're gonna stay for the next two days. Ah, yes, <laughs> this is where we're staying. It's nice and cozy, isn't it? It looks huge. It looks huge, but it's, it's still it's, it's nice and cozy. It feels huge. Yeah, after it's because it's open. <laughs> and I'm so happy I can stand up. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. And let's check if we have a real toilet and a real shower. Ta da! We have. <laughs> Lucky us! Yeah. It's a big shower. It's a big shower. It we looks inviting. It looks we can shower together. <laughs> <Probably>. <laughs> this is nice. This is really nice. Oh, and a comfortable bed. A big bed. Not Spanish standards. Good, good, good. <laughs> oh, and coffee. Yes, yes, yes. Cute little couch. Yes, kitchen. Amazing view. Do we have sea? Ah, we see the sea. Yeah. Yes, we see the sea. Your and first, we have, first row. And we have beach chairs. How <laughs> awesome is that? <laughs> Forget about our previous van that I was saying that it was the Hilton. This is the Hilton. <laughs> this is going to be our home for the next two days. We can't film outside at the moment because it's the middle of the day and there are actually a lot of naked people outside. It's surprising how many people there are. It's not even a holiday or so. But anyway, we are gonna get washed up, we're gonna get freshed up, we're gonna try to get to know the town a little bit, and tomorrow we will show you around. up very early this morning to watch the sunrise and not only because we love sunrises but also in um, half an hour an hour it will get very raw warm and also very busy so we woke up very early to show you this beautiful coastline What's really interesting about this place is that they don't have like a sandy beach but they have sand like you can see but it's not really a beach <laughs> instead they have those natural swimming holes they are right in front of our studio and what's really cool is but that uh, when the tide is high the swimming hole get filled up with fresh water and yeah of course when the tide is low um, yeah there is less water in it <laughs> that way you always have like fresh water coming in and out and it's really cool to see all 
along the coastline you have more places where you can get in the water they even installed some uh, chairs no not chairs stairs. ladders <laughs> stairs <laughs> that uh, with an easy access to go in the water but it's really difficult to show you how massive and how beautiful this place is from ground level maybe it would be easier to show it from the air Ooh. are you thinking what i'm thinking let's get the drone let's get the drone <laughs> All the buildings that you could see on the drone shots, that's all Charco del Palo. And around it, that's all natural park. So Charco del Palo is really an enclosed village. And what's the cool thing about the village is that the whole village is clothing optional. And we've been to nature's villages in the past before, like Vera Playa recently, for example. Yeah. Or Cap d'Agde in France. Or Cap d'Agde. And yeah. there are differences. Yeah. Like in Vera Playa, we, if you, you may remember that we had quite some difficulties to figure out what the nature's zone of town mm -hmm. is. Mm -hmm. So it's not the, the whole town, it's just a zone in town. And that's the same thing in the, the world's most famous nature's village <laughs> in Cap d'Agde. It's just a zone in a town and over there it's even worse because it's fenced off and they make you pay an entrance fee. So can we say that this is better? Actually, this is. Nicer. I believe, I believe that, that, that this is the first true nature's village that we ever visited. Yeah, 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 definitely. And something that I also like is these little walls that you see which are completely different than when you walk around in the urbanization of Vera Playa for example. This gives an open feeling. I love it. We would like to tell you that Charco del Palo is a hundred percent clothing optional but unfortunately that's not the case. There are a couple of places where clothes are actually mandatory. And for example, it's in the two restaurants. Don't ask me why, it completely blows my mind as well, why people wouldn't be allowed to be naked in a restaurant in a naturist town. But it is what it is. The shop is the other place where you have to wear clothes. Well, clothes. Sarong is more than enough. This was it for the tour of Charco del Palo and now I think it's time to hit the beach. Maybe we should have considered calling our channel Nick and Linz and Friends because look who's <laughs> <Hi>! there! <laughs> If you have been following our channel for a while, you may re recognize those faces. It's Paolo and Linda from Costa Lunga Nature's Campsite in Italy. It will end up a 5 0 for Italy. It's gonna be exciting. <laughs> How are you doing? Oh, great. Uh, it's great here. <laughs> yeah. it's See their smiling faces. <laughs> <laughs> They're happy. Uh, we're not complaining. Uh. No. <laughs> uh, you, have been, you have been coming to, to Lanzarote and Chocolate Palo for a while, no? Yes, now uh, in the last uh, five winters uh, in and out, sometimes shorter, yeah. sometimes longer, but we like very much uh, here. Yeah. Yes. And what do you like so? What do you like so much about this place? Except the sun. Um, <laughs> that you can walk around naked, I think, everywhere. Yeah. The, around the whole coast, you can walk, and, uh, and yeah. uh, it's super easy to go for a swim uh, and. Uh... Yeah, indeed. <laughs> Great sea, good for snorkeling. Uh, uh, nice little town, cozy, so yeah, it's, yeah, uh, it's very it, nice. It is really a beautiful yeah. place. Can I just say one more thing? Yeah, sure. 
Yeah, that Chaco de Palo is great for the winter time, but for summer holidays, nothing can beat a naturist camping like Costa Lunga <laughs> in Italy. That's very Come true. To find us. Come to find us. <laughs> Our stay at Chaco del Palo has already come to an end. Aww, already! We could have stayed so much longer. Yes. And we really enjoyed the hot shower and the real toilet <laughs> <laughs> and all that kind of stuff. But this series is about van life and not about studio life. <laughs> so we are gonna continue van life. We're gonna sleep in our cozy van again tonight. So if you don't wanna miss that. You know what to do. Subscribe to our channel. No, like. Seriously, subscribe to our channel. It costs you nothing and it helps us so much. So just hit the button and subscribe to our channel. And also, if you like this video, hit the like button. <laughs> and we see you in our next video. <laughs> Bye! Bye. Bye.